Hello everyone, my name is Ayappa Machanda, SAP Specialist from AWS. Today I have with me Sunny Patwari. Sunny, you want to give a quick introduction? Sure. Hello everyone, my name is Sunny Patwari, SAP Tech Technical Alliance Lead for North America. I work closely with SAP on AWS. Thanks Sunny. Uh, so today we're going to talk about Rise with SAP on AWS. So Sunny, uh, what is Rise with SAP on AWS? Can you dive deep on that? Sure. So. Rise with SAP on AWS is the new construct by SAP to combine software licensing, technical managed services, and infrastructure together in one bundle. So let me take a step back and explain what was traditionally done and what is done as part of Rise with SAP. So if you look at traditionally, what customers have done is they have worked with SAP for software support, they have worked with partners for TMS and AMS, they have worked with partners for advisory and implementation support. Sometimes they have their own team for AMS and TMS as well. For infrastructure, either they can rely on on-premise data centers or they can work with hyperscalers like AWS for their infrastructure provisioning. So this was a traditional model where customers will buy, bring your own license from SAP, or we also call, SAP also calls perpetual license, and work with different partners and infrastructure vendors to, for their SAP implementation. As part of Rise with SAP, SAP has combined technical managed services software support and infrastructure together in a RISE construct. So SAP takes care of your technical managed services, SAP takes care of infrastructure deployment in their tenant for the uh, customer, and software support is also by SAP as subscription license. They call it full user equivalent for S4 HANA. But application managed services and advisory and implementation, they can still work with their preferred partners or their own customer team for further implementation and uh, application development on Rise with SAP. Oh, this is great explanation, uh, Sunny. Uh, can you please dive deep into what is AMS and what is TMS, please? Sure. So as part of technical managed services, SAP has included things below operating system, like operating system patching or database, patching database upgrade, anything below OS, and DB is part of technical managed services from an operations perspective. Also, if you look at uh, SAP system, SAP S4 HANA, there is client 000, um, there is client 000 and productive clients. So client 000 comes into TMS. So that's technically managed by SAP. Any productive client, like 100 or 200 or anything like that, that's part of application managed services. So application development, application level integration or application configuration is done as part of application managed services which is under a partner or customer's choice. SAP has released a detailed R&R document, they also call it roles and responsibility under RISE, where they have detailed out the technical managed services offering and what is optional or what is standard by RISE with SAP on AWS or RISE with SAP. So that's, there is a detailed R&R document which you can refer for details of what is covered as part of technical managed services and what is covered as part of application managed services. Well, thanks for providing these details, Sunny. Uh, I have a question. So uh, what are the different connectivity patterns uh, for Rise with SAP on AWS? Sure. So let's say there, is an, there are different options for a customer who is already running on um, AWS or they are new to uh, Rise with SAP on AWS or they are new to SAP. So let's start with SAP on AWS customers or, or an existing AWS customer. If they have done their investment to connect their corporate data center either through AWS site-to-site -site VPN or direct connect to the VPC in the customer's account, there's one option they have already invested there they can reuse this investment when they are going for Rise with SAP. What they can do is they have a Rise tenant or Rise account for that customer. They have their own customer's account at AWS. They can connect these two using VPC peering or they can use transit, AWS Transit Gateway, TGW. So they can use either of these options to integrate their customer's AWS, uh, customer's AWS account and RISE account for connectivity to a non-SAP system or non-RISE systems running on AWS account. That is one option. Second option is 
customer has a RISE account where their customer's um, corporate data center is connected to RISE account using site-to-site uh, -site VPN or Direct Connect. They can continue to use other AWS native services or non-SAP systems on AWS customer account and use VPC peering from here to establish that connectivity. So there are different options depending on where customer is on their cloud journey and we can work closely with customers, partners, or SAP to make sure they are getting the best from their uh, SAP on AWS investment or AWS investment. Well, I mean, uh, these details are very useful uh, for any customer who would like to explore the option of Rise with SAP on AWS. Uh, can you talk about uh, more uh, modernization options uh, for Rise with SAP customers? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, this covered more towards infrastructure design and connectivity patterns. When it comes to modernization around Rise with SAP, so there is a messaging from SAP, keep the core clean and let SAP innovate in the core in the S4 HANA system. So we are working closely with SAP on joint reference architectures and uh, different patterns for customers to leverage modernization options using either BTP services or cloud native services from AWS. So customers can use uh, different modernization options to innovate around the core. And for that, we have an upcoming video uh, where we'll talk in detail about how to keep the core clean and use BTP and cloud native services to extend or innovate around the core. That's great, Sunny. Uh, thank you, everyone. I uh, hope this video was useful. Uh, please reach out to us for more information and any questions. Thank you. Thank you.